Dysplasia means abnormal development. So hip dysplasia is abnormal development or growth of the hip during puppyhood. The puppy is born with a completely normal hip. Unfortunately, during the first few weeks of life, this ligament that holds the hip into the acetabulum becomes loose. This is genetically controlled. The loose ligament allows the femoral head to become loose. This is what we call laxity or looseness of the femoral head in the acetabulum. This laxity or looseness allows the femoral head to rub along the edge of the acetabulum a little bit like a basketball rolling around the ring of the hoop. Young bones are very soft, so during development, while we have this abnormal action on the formation of the joint, we tend to get mushrooming of the hip and flattening of the acetabulum, forming what we call a hip dysplasia or a dysplastic joint. This is a genetic disease. It is not caused by exercising too early. So we measure hip laxity by doing a pen hip x-ray. This places gentle distraction on the hip joint to see whether the ball joint pulls out of the socket. If laxity is present, your dog has hip dysplasia and your dog needs to have a procedure called a JPS. A JPS is indicated at 16 weeks for any dog that has hip laxity. This will prevent hip dysplasia developing. We fuse the pelvis, helping the hip to develop normally. Hip dysplasia leads to severe osteoarthritis and ongoing chronic pain. To prevent this, we need to be very careful when selecting breeding dogs. If selecting a dog to be a breeding puppy, please get a pen hip x-ray at 16 weeks to check for hip laxity. Also, once the dog is mature, make sure you get hip scores done. Hip scores should be done for both male and female dogs before breeding. If you get pen hip x-rays and hip scoring done on all your breeding dogs and don't breed dogs with bad hips, we can help prevent hip dysplasia and a lifetime of chronic pain and suffering for our canine friends.